Hey YouTubers, Hike with Mike here of course, out with uh, Swamp Camper and Campfire Steve for another adventure. Hope you enjoy. What do you think about the situation in the Middle East right now? I think it's highly volatile and I think we need to support many groups there that are uh, quite possibly allies. Let me tell you about Beirut, best damn basketball player there ever was. Shut up! <laughs> How's the hammock setup coming along, Swamp Camper? I don't know, you're standing right there, what do you think? <laughs> All right, Campfire Steve, I'm trying to stay behind the camera as much as possible on this trip. What are we doing? I'm gonna set up a game camera with some bait. Mystery bait right in here. Mystery bait, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'll finally have some success with the uh, game camera. If not, I can come yeah. to my mom's house. Or uh, get some raccoons. The Squatch always finds a way to mess around with those uh, cameras, huh? Yeah, hopefully he'll take a selfie. Well, we're getting ready to set up the game camera. I've had about four or five previous game camera um, attempts and got nothing on the camera, so hopefully I'll have better luck tonight heading into the cypress swamp here. Oh, look at how flooded it is. Yeah. So. We'll uh, definitely set it up here. Wow, look at the, oh is that goodness. the, is the water running or is that the wind? It's running. Wow. That's spring fed right there. Huh. Look at that. That's wild. Can we go over, that's what I'm thinking, go over right there yeah, and uh, set it up in there. Set it up. Yep. That's cool. And beautiful. Wow. Even if I wore my boots, I'd be up to my waist yeah, in here. The water level is really up. Yeah, look at that. And of course the knuckleheads. Have yeah, the North American knuckleheads. There. But look at the Literally. flow going through yeah. here. Yeah. That's why this is a, a, a swift mud territory because it's water um, aquifer for the uh, state right here. That's cool. All right, I think this is a good spot for the uh, game camera for yep. sure. Let's set her up. Well, we had to do a bit of uh, swamp walking to find a good spot for the. Uh, Did you want to take a picture of it in case it disappears? Why would that matter? So you have a description of it. I don't think okay. <laughs> it's going to matter anyway. All but, right. Uh, we're just assuming no one's going to be crazy enough for us to walk out in the middle of a swamp to get a game camera, so... Yeah, it'll be dark soon. Um, it'll be dark soon, and uh, hopefully I get something, because uh, for some weird reason, I just... The first time I used it, I had a raccoon and a possum, I think, and that was about it. Yeah, but you would think... You'll hit your stride, man. Yeah. It always takes a few tries. You'll hit your stride. Uh, all right, you want to walk on for a little bit? Explore a yeah, little let's bit? let's actually uh, uh, check out the... Uh, Paraline corridor because we got that launch tonight. That All we're right. Launch. Make sure that it's not over flooded or anything. Cool. Sounds good. I'll tell you what, I'm getting a little bit of uh, affirmation from Small Town Monsters, Tim Fasano, the late great Tim Fasano, uh, that uh, there is a Paraline corridor, um, I guess you'd say theory, that seems to be fact that animals, squatches, everything uses them at night. I mean, look, right now there's nobody out here. It's totally empty. Yeah. And why wouldn't they just be moving through here? And there's water on both sides. I mean, there's there's water in the middle of the trail. Yeah. They're not looking. They're not going to have a problem with the heat. It's, that's not a problem at all. Mm -hmm. And if they really get hot, there's some big ponds down the way. They can just dive right in. Yep. You know. And tonight there's a launch. We're going to be watching right through the gap in the trees right there. That'd be cool. Hopefully yep. we'll get some good video of it. Oh, that should be awesome. Nice. We've done a lot of mileage on the power trail corridors taking a little much needed break Whew. hot wild. out here today it is warm. this is a forest road I don't I don't think I've been on before but it's pretty nice all these oak trees don't you agree campfire Steve extremely picturesque yes I hope it leads us back to the camp <laughs> I think we'll have to take a hard right but we'll get there all righty All right, time for the night hike and hopefully uh, see the uh, rocket launch. Where are we going? Which way? Right there. You sure? Yep, absolutely. All right, all right, all right. We're looking for frogs. You find any? No frogs? Everywhere. Go up the headlight, you. 
What the devil? No, that's a plane. It's got a flash in the height. Plain Jane. <laughs> Excuse me! Excuse me! <laughs> Do you have any spaghetti sauce that I can borrow? <laughs> You'll have to excuse the airboat noise, but back home. You know one cool thing about uh, going uh, hiking and camping with my buds is we kind of, we discover our childhood. We act like uh, kids again, running around in the woods and uh, kind of like that movie Stand By Me, if you're familiar with it, but that's the cool thing about when we go camping and hiking and uh, we just goof off, just goofy and uh, have fun in the woods and uh, it reminds me of that movie, Stand By Me, you know, that uh, we, we rediscover our childhood, even though we're wicked old at this point, but uh, it's always good times, you know, definitely good times and good medicine. So get out there with uh, your buds and uh, go camping and rediscover your childhood, it's good medicine for sure.